hello everyone welcome to mayur programming club today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is score after flipping matrix so you will be given an m cross n matrix which will be a binary matrix matrix and uh, a move consists of choosing any row or column and toggling each value in that row or column uh, which means that all the zeros will be changed to ones and vice versa okay and each row of the matrix is interpreted as binary number okay so for example if there is a matrix uh, matrix given to you let's copy this image and let's take it to the board so let's say the matrix that is given to you is the first matrix this one and you are right now on this row then this is a binary number 0 0 1 1 it represents some uh, decimal number okay so 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 and 2 raised to power 3 so you can see that it will be 1 plus 2 which will be 3 okay so it will represent 3 similarly all rows represent some number okay so you have to return the score of the matrix that is the sum of these numbers okay so you have to return the highest possible score that you may get by making these moves zero or more number of times what is the move move is that you may choose any row or column and you will then you know toggle the whole row or column okay now let's have a look at the constraints before thinking of an approach so the number of rows and the number of columns will be of order 20 and uh, it is mentioned that it will be a binary matrix a matrix so each entry will be either 0 or 1 okay so let's think of an approach basically since we are told to maximize the score so we want that somehow uh, we are able to get maximum number possible from each row of the matrix okay so we want to get maximum number possible in each row of matrix okay so how we are uh, we are gonna do uh, do that so what we'll be doing is first of all there is a little observation that, that you must make to think of a greedy approach okay in order to maximize the row sum uh, or the number represented by row and their sums so let's say a binary number is given to you 0 1 1 1 okay so it's 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 and 2 raised to power 2 okay which sums up to 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7 okay let's say another binary number is given to you which is 0 1 0 0 0 okay so the bits that were previously set in the previous number are now turned off and except those bits what we are doing is when we are uh, turning on the bit next to those bits okay so here it is to be you know observed that 8 will always be greater than 7 so this observation is that no matter how many number of bits or even all the bits are turned off turned on after a certain bit and that bit is turned off 
and if that bit is representing a higher power of 2 then that bit will singularly contribute to a larger number as compared to the previous bit all the bits turned on okay here all three were turned on even then it resulted into what 7 but if you turn off all these bits and turn off a uh, turn on a higher power of 2 which is 2 raised to power 3 so we turned on a higher power of 2 it resulted into a bigger number okay so this is one observation and uh, then you know how we are going to apply this observation to achieve the maximum number or maximum sum possible what we will be doing is uh, if the first column of any row is 0 it means that the first cell of any row uh, is containing 0 for example here then you might consider uh, you, or you should consider flipping all the bits uh, flipping all the entries in this row okay why why so because if you flip all the entries then this will result into a higher power of 2 obviously because 0 1 2 and 3 so it is 2 raised to power 3 so anyways even if this bit was also set then also flipping the bits will result in a higher number okay so this is one thing that we will be doing if the first cell of our row is zero then we will flip the entire row okay so once we are done with it the very next step will be to maximize the columns okay so we already have maximum uh, power of 2 set to 1 now we are only worried about setting getting maximum number of ones in those bit positions okay so each column represent a bit position uh 0th bit first bit second bit third bit okay so the most significant bit we have uh, in this particular representation which is 3 uh, which is the highest power uh for now we are considering this most significant although uh, most significant bit is reserved for you know indicating whether a number is positive or negative but uh, you know the highest bit position is already set if it was required to set now we are uh, greedily wanting that okay now uh, for each bit position we want maximum ones that can there be okay so if the number of zeros in a certain column is are greater than the number of ones then we might uh, we should consider flipping that entire column okay so for example here in this particular one in this particular column you can see that there are two zeros and uh, one one okay so the number of zeros are definitely larger than the number of ones so we should consider flipping it uh, in order to achieve maximum number of ones in this particular bit position which is 2 okay and then proceeding further uh, you will see that here uh, the number of zeros was already less if you flip it then the number of ones in bit position 1 will be reduced so we will not be doing anything with it then proceeding further you will again again see that this particular one is having higher number of zeros so we will flip uh, this particular column okay so we will do things one by one first of all you will uh, you know flip the entire row after flipping the row it will look something like this then you will observe your columns except the very first column because you already have greedily you know placed the maximum uh value that can there be 
okay so you are now considering only columns from one to the last column okay so then considering those columns we uh, came to know that okay this particular one and this particular one these two columns are the candidates to be flipped so after flipping they will look something like this so we flipped this column after flipping the number of ones increased then uh, once we are done with it we will flip the next column which is this column okay all the uh, zeros will be converted to ones and once you are done with these steps you will be having the maximum uh, sum okay from the numbers generated from each row okay because we greedily make sure that the most uh we can say the greatest position bit position is set and after that we try to get as many as ones for each bit position as possible by flipping the columns okay so let's try to do it programmatically and then we will be having our solution so this is the implementation in which we are doing it programmatically so first of all we are checking for the very first column in each row uh, whether that particular cell or the very first cell in each row is set to zero if it is set to zero then we will flip the row okay in order to uh, get that maximum bit position set to one okay uh, now once we are done with it we will proceed further and then we will see from the very first column to the last column uh, if there is a situation happening that the number of ones is less than the number of zeros in that particular column then we will consider flipping that column okay so this call one function what it uh, does is first of all it will you know count the number of ones then it will find out the number of zeros if the number of zeros is greater then you will flip the entire column okay flipping the entire column is just a simple logic you will change 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 okay and similarly the flipping the uh, row function will work or method will work and uh, this function you might ask or method might ask is just for debugging purpose you can try to remove the comments and see how things are proceeding how matrix is uh, matrix is uh, getting changed with each step okay so once you are done with these steps these two steps you will be having the matrix that will be having maximum numbers represented by each row then you will take the sum okay after taking the sum uh, i have used long but i think int may be sufficient because the bounds are not that large or the constraints are not that large okay so anyways it should also work yeah as you can see it's working and uh, this is how we will be solving this particular problem and uh, as far as time and space complexities are concerned it is a little homework for you if you are not able to figure out those complexities then you may ask them in the comment section uh, and uh, i hope this you know problem solving session or this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of owning your dsa skills and i will see you in the next video until then keep practicing and keep solving problems thank you for watching